All right, let's talk upgrade considerations. So sometimes when you're looking at installing windows, you have to think about what are the considerations. Upgrading is the exact same. It's not as simple as, well, oh, I have Windows 8, I need to upgrade. There are certain things that have to be in place before we can even talk about that upgrade. So for almost all Windows 7 and 8 applications, they should work just fine in Windows 10. Should and do are two different things. Whenever possible, the exception should make sure that you should check. Applications that use file system filtering, like AV, may not be compatible, so you need to check. Custom power management tools also may not be supported. Custom applications may not be supported. So before upgrading to Windows 10, be sure to one, check the applications, and two, make sure before doing the upgrade, stop any AV, network services, or specific client software that might prevent Windows 10 from being upgraded. Software packages may also see Windows 10 as a virus, thus causing the installation to fail. Again, the important thing here is to recognize that some AV sh uh, look at the modification of OS files as potential viruses, so they treat them as such. Windows 10 is not a virus, but again, it's manipulating those core Windows files and that is something that a virus might do, so you have to keep that in mind. Some other considerations are things like, what happens if you're upgrading and you are having the contents go to the same partition as an existing version of Windows? So things like uh, documents, user settings, programs, anything core Windows will actually be auto-migrated to a Windows.old directory and all the old operating system files will be placed in there and they'll no longer be available. Another issue that you may need to look into are user profiles. Depending on how your organization handles user profiles, if they are local, that's one thing. If they're roaming profiles, that is totally different uh, things. And we've already done separate conversations on roaming profiles. Again, a roaming profile is stored on a server as opposed to a local profile which is stored locally on your machine. Upgrading from one version of Windows to another version of Windows may have issues when it comes to the different profile versions. So that is definitely a consideration to think about. So now that we talked about some uh, locations, some applications, all some really software things, what about hardware concerns? Are there hardware compatibility? And definitely, you need to ensure that you have a Windows 10 device driver for all the hardware, and modern day hardware shouldn't be an issue. However, if you're using older equipment, this is definitely a concern. Uh, things like a Windows 10 compatible driver for any video settings or video cards that you have. You need to have at least an 800 by 600 resolution screen even though realistically that is not enough. That's bare, 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 bare minimum. So once you get the Windows 10 driver for the video, you can install and adjust the configuration appropriately. The big thing there is having a Windows 10 compatible video card so you're not stuck with older standard VGA based drivers. We've already kind of talked about our applications. Things like understanding that all, all applications were written for Windows 10. A lot of applications were written for earlier versions of Windows, and thus some of the security mechanisms in Windows 10 may prevent those applications from running correctly. Things like if the, app, uh, if the application is compatible with Windows 10, and we know that if it's not functioning, we may have to reinstall the application. If the application uses certain DLLs, these DLL migrations might not actually happen, so you may have to apply the migration DLLs manually. We also have an Application Compatibility Toolkit, ACT, and you can run this prior to Windows 10 upgrades to verify the application will run within Windows 10. Also, applications that were written earlier versions of Windows might be incompatible because of uh, 
administrative settings. So Windows 10 has the program compatibility wizard to allow you to set certain compatibilities settings on that application. This is not an exhaustive list. This is a small portion list for application compatibility issues, but this touches on some of the main core areas that might impact a user's interaction or up, uh, upgrade uh, inability to Windows 10 due to application-based issues. One good thing is to have some form of checklists when we're doing our upgrades. So our checklists could be verify that we have the appropriate minimum requirements. Also make sure Windows 10 drivers uh, for the hardware. Make sure that they, you have them, that the hardware is compatible. Audit the current configuration status. Make sure we have all the appropriate apps and tools like that have been verified. BIOS is current. That's not a requirement, that's just a suggestion. If you're going to implement Secure Boot, we have to make sure we have the uh, UEFI, not the BIOS setup. Take an inventory of current configuration, back up the current configuration. If we're doing an upgrade, maybe clean up any unused applications. Verify there's no existing issues with the uh, hardware, hard drive, optical drive, video card, and so forth. Perform the upgrade, and lastly, verify the configuration for the upgrade. Again, this is just a nice, quick overview of the checklist that you might run through before you are doing your upgrade. Questions, concerns about this material, please reach out.